Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you? Oh, it's a bit of an afterthought this video. Come on, what are you doing, stupid thing? Trying to get the, uh, the light correct. Uh, because um, I was just saying to Mrs. Angry this morning that I haven't had a phone call from the PRS lately. The people who ring you up and ask you if they, you know, you've got a radio playing in the background and if so, did you know that you owe them money? And that the British Dental Association agrees that you should pay, etc, etc. And, uh, which is a shame because I like, I enjoy uh, my PRS calls. You generally get some little Herbert or Herbert test on the other end saying, uh, you know, and you, and you say, no, dentists don't have to pay it. And they say, yes, you do. And they say, no, we don't. And they say, yes, you do. And then eventually they say, have you, can you tell me why you don't think you have to pay it? And you say, yes, it's a European court judgment, blah, 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 blah. So anyway, um, long story short, the reason why this European court judgment hasn't been written into British law is that they've never ever sued anybody who they've never taken anyone to court who's refused to pay myself being the prime example and uh, so as a result the British courts have never been asked to rule on it never had to look up to the ECJ for the precedent and therefore it, the British rules uh, English law stands as it is and not and not as modified by certainly by any court case that came up in the UK so anyway, the um, Mrs. Angry said this morning, I wonder what's going to happen after Brexit. And it just occurred to me that their little scam might be up. The jig might be up after, after Brexit. Because if, as we suspect, the all of European law will be written into British law, then the, by, by uh, dint of this sort of... Uh, I'm not going to call it an amalgamation, but by dint of this joining together of the, or the imposition of the European court judgments on UK law, um, it seems to me that they've really got about another six months to, um, to carry on this little mafioso scheme, after which they'll, uh, they won't be able to do it because the European court judgment will, be, will also be the UK court judgment. And the BDA will, um, they will then have to admit that uh, dentists uh, don't have to pay it. They'll never um, admit that they were wrong to tell all their members to pay it all this time. But they might actually, because I suppose their lawyers are, will say, look, you know, this is now, this is now UK law has been incorporated into UK law, even in the absence of a, of a court case, and therefore. Um, so that's good news, isn't it? Good news for the, so if you're still one of the dummies that's paying the PRS for a background, what is essentially background music, which isn't broadcast to the patients as part of your dental service, then uh, you can stop, you know. In fact, if I was you, I'd stop straight away. But, you know, you might want to wait until the BDA tells you to stop if you're the sort of person that that needs to be told what to do, then fine. Then you won't, you won't take me telling you to stop, then wait until the BDA tells you to stop. I don't know, go pay a few more hundred quid, I don't care. All I know is I've never paid a penny and I'm never going to, so. You know, and I've had a, I've had a few beers over the years, plus a bit of fun with the PRS on the phone, telling them their own job. But they, they don't want to hear their own job. They know, they know they're not allowed to do it. They know this. And so, uh, <coughs> they just want to know whether you know it, you know? <laughs> anyway, that's my quick thought for today. And uh, I'm not going to blether on at greater length. So um, I'll uh, talk to you tomorrow. Bye.